Welcome to the Santa Maria Golf Club here in Panama. What an awesome spot. Today we are taking, uh, I believe it was Lee Trevino's advice on going pro and we're gonna tell you about it right now. Okay, so I believe it was Lee Trevino who said, if you want to go pro, then what you need to do is show up at a golf course like you've never seen before in your life and you need to shoot in the 60s. I think he said you gotta do it like three, four, five times in a row or something ridiculous. So we're here in Panama, never seen this course. Today, we're gonna see if we're, how close we are to giving it a shot. So, never seen the course, Bermuda grass, from the tips, we're gonna have to shoot in the 60s. Can we do it? We'll find out. This is like go time right now. Fully focused, fully engaged, fully everything. Whew. We gotta know where we're at though. You just gotta know. It's like taking a test. You study, take a test, and you get a F. At least you know. You, you're nowhere close. We're gonna, we're gonna get graded today. All right, so what I'm trying to do is just get a feel for green speed. So I'm gonna pace some stuff off, 20, 30 footers, and try to get a good idea of kind of the stroke I need for these Bermuda greens here at Santa Maria Golf Club. This is a private facility, just maybe five, 10 minutes from the Panama airport and from Atlanta, it was like a three and a half hour flight. It's a pretty awesome location. And from what I understand, this is a phenomenal place to do business real business hub of Central America. I'll leave a link in the video description below for this place. You could check it out. It's not a bad place to come. They got a, a pool, spa, uh, golf, and uh, really close to downtown Panama City and this whole cool vibe. Plus it's warm like all year round. I'm for that. <music> Okay, we're playing from the black tees today. It's at 7,153 yards. Uh, it's gonna be tough. First hole, 400 yard par four. Never seen this place, so I'm going to just strategize here and pick out my birdie holes, which means first time I've ever seen this place, I'm picking out zero birdie holes. What I'm just gonna do is stick to my shot. Fairway finders, going for nothing except fairways and greens and let the putter drop when they can. We're up. All right, hit a fairway. 146 left to this pin, back right pin or right side pin. I'm just going a little bit left. A lot of sloping, a lot of slopes it looks like on this green. So I'm just taking a little bit, maybe 10, 15 feet left to the flag and if it could fade in, great. If not, we're good too. I think I stuck it pretty tight. Good start. much as I'm happy with a par, with a look like that, where you're trying to break 70, you want to take advantage of those. But I'm happy that grain really pulls that thing, it's like teeth. All right, I have 330 left to this par five, 594 yard par five second hole. I'm just gonna lay up five wood, 230, gives me about 100 in, I like that number. All right, we have a little headwind. So um, I have 120 left, took a little off of, more off of it than I thought. So I'm going pitching wedge, I'm gonna take a little off of it, just choke down a touch and go kind of right after this thing. All right, my knockdown wedge went flew 134. This is where that short game's gonna have to pay off. 
I was a wanted birdie opportunity. Now I'm scrambling. We're going back uphill into the grain so I could be a little more aggressive. So I'm going uh, 56 degree. Just trying to make it. All right, par, just keep grinding pars. And I'm trying to focus on how far my ball are, balls are flying. So driver, they're not going that far. A lot of humidity in the air out here. But that wedge, man, that wedge went. So got to kind of factor all that in and adjust as we go. So again, I'm just looking over the scorecard, trying to see, you know, just danger holes, really ones where I have to kind of take it extra uh, cautious. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine holes with water on it. Par threes are gonna be critical in today's mission because if we can get through those with even par, that'd be epic. And uh, today, third hole, 214. And based on my last shot with the five wood, I'm gonna go five wood here. And I gotta hit it pretty good, a little headwind kind of coming back at us. Flailed it a little right, missed on the big side of the green, so that's good. Gotta get up and down though. Fourth hole, 445 yard par four. Number one handicap. 170 left, going seven iron here. Looks like I can go right at the flag, so kind of aim there. All right, fifth hole, par three. One, it's playing 185 with a pin all the way in the back today. Uh, cool hole, it's got this cool green uh, this bunker that kind of goes into the water. I love those look. Um, I'm hitting a six iron and I'm just gonna try to flight it as far back as I can without going over. Uh, check that, I'm going five iron, a little breeze. My six is like 185 stock into the wind, one up club. I'm not used to Bermuda, so I'm up there just trying to see the grain to kind of help give me an idea where I want to and how I want to play my um, pitch shot up there. First bogey. All right. My fault. I should never have changed clubs back there. Gotta know these things. Um, but that's good. And then just not a good putt. Actually, one, two, three bad shots in a row. No, one bad decision and two bad shots equaled a bogey. All right, we're good though, we're good. 365 par four. Uh, there's some bunkers out there, so I'm just going three wood here. Try to go aim at the middle one. And hopefully not hit it that far. All right, 101. 56 degree wedge here, green light special. Seven, par five, 538 yards. And uh, we're going back in the wind again. Number eight, 468 yard par four. How cool is this? We are hitting back into the buildings in the backdrop. I love that look. Look at this eighth hole here at Santa Marina Golf Club in Panama. I mean, how cool is this little vibe right here? The building, tons of stuff. I love hitting it. It's like a little amphitheater, this uh, eighth hole. Tee shot's awesome. Second shot's even more awesome. Except I have 219 for my second shot into the par four. Four hundred and thirty-three yard par four. So, 
not short, and water all down the right-hand side. All right, I let my guard down on this hole. Tough hole, probably the hardest hole in the back, and uh, bogey, so I gave that birdie back. So we've got some work to do coming in. Well, it's uh, with a birdie here on the last, it's an even par round, and it was the par threes. I was two over on the par three, so that was really what got me. If I button those up and make like one more birdie, then I hit the 69 number. So not bad, I'm a little bit off. I need to work on my really like mid iron shots. And a couple short game things, Bermuda grass, not used to that, so some chipping issues and putting was just, I was a mess. But what an awesome place. Thanks so much for the Santa Maria Golf Club here in Panama. Gorgeous spot. Man, I was highly impressed. It's a real golf course. They can have you know, pro tournaments here for sure. Pretty awesome. So uh, link in the video description below for them. Give them a check out and keep rooting for me. I'm grinding, going pro. Now I gotta go practice for like four hours. Love you guys. See you next time.